Hello guys and welcome to another video by WG Productions. In this video, I will be showing you how you can make a really cool stinger transition in After Effects. And uh, this will be used uh, for switching between scenes in your YouTube videos or your uh, gaming uh, videos in uh, Twitch. Uh, so this is uh, stinger transition is mainly used for purposes where uh, you want to show your brand and you want to make people aware of your brand. So if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe and let's get straight to the video. So in order to make this stinger transition and you need to export your background or your uh, also your logo. So in this case, I'm using a background like this, a yeah, metallic background. So you can also use this, make sure that the layer is uh, behind this is transparent. Uh, because you need to this to open and close the stinger transition within the OBS software or any stream software that you are using. So you can import your logo over here and you can place it in the center and uh, uh, any theme that you want uh, you can have a background like that. I think uh, this for this purpose I'm using the Terminator theme or something like that then that's why I'm using uh, this background and uh, lo logo something like this. So uh, what you need to do is uh, you this is a 1920 by 1080 pixel background uh, for the stringer transition and uh, you need to just go ahead and merge both of these layers together uh, make sure that your logo is within the center right click select both of these layers right click and then merge layers so you will have one layer like this then what you want to do is press ctrl r on your keyboard and you will bring down uh, a slider like this this is your rulers uh, so you can place it within the center and you need to uh, select this uh, rectangular marquee tool and just place it within the center and you can cut this layer by right clicking and select layer through cut so this will split your uh, logo and background in two layers uh, so you can you have one layer over here and you have the other layer over here like this so you can it's better to name both of these layers like uh, left uh, because you want to it easier for you in After Effects left and right uh, and now you want to export this entire PSD file uh, and uh, in After Effects so after coming to After Effects you need composition button over here name your composition and uh, this will be uh, less than a 5 seconds animation so I'm just going to make this uh, less than 5 seconds the rest of the settings you need to make them similar make sure it's 1920 by 1080 pixel background and the color for the background it can be anything you want select ok so once you have this you can right click over here and select import file and import your file you will see a pop-up like this and uh, you can select this as a editable layer style so once you have your file over here then you need to double click this uh, icon over here and this will uh, shift your composition uh, to the main screen and uh, i think this ruler uh, we can remove it to the left side so you can see that you have both of these layers left and the right layer uh, so I'm just going to go ahead in uh, at around half a second and uh, then I'm just going to go ahead and select the position for both of these so for the left uh, a layer I can select P on my keyboard this will open the position and I can select position same goes for this one position so this is the uh, has been keyframed so I'm just going to go at the very start and uh, while selecting both of these uh, while selecting one of these layers first i'm going to drag this by holding down shift and to the end of the screen same goes for this one by holding down shift you can drag it and you can see that this will animate your screen so once you have this uh, done then uh, the next thing you want to do is uh, just repeat the same step but first of all we are going to uh, pause this for a second because this screen is going to come and this is going to pause for a few seconds and then it's going to leave so let's make this uh, at around one second we can select both of these and uh, this position will stay over here just like so and then at around less than two seconds we can go ahead and remove this again select both of these keyframes Control c Press Ctrl V over here. So what I've actually done is uh, just uh, copied this keyframe, placed it over here, and make sure that your uh, slider is over here. Same goes for this other layer. 
so we can see this animation uh, just like this it will pause and then it will leave so in order to end our composition over here we can just go ahead and press n on our keyboard over here this will end our composition so this is the basic part for the animation so for the for the next part of our uh, transition we are going to just go ahead and place some uh, uh, sort of welding sparks over here or uh, some sort of sparks just to determine that uh, this is a metallic gear so sorry a metallic background so when the door closes then uh, a bit of sparks come out so you need to right click on this blank space over here select new and select your solid you can name this solid anything and uh, for this uh, effects and presets you can just go ahead and type particle systems and you will see this particle system soon you can bring this on top of this so you will see these particles just like this so i'm just going to go ahead and change a few settings and you need to uh, use the exact same settings over here for the birth rate i'm using it as three and uh, for the producer let's just go with a radius of 10 for y in the physics we have velocity at 0.5 gravity is at 1.5 direction will be same and particle for this we can have uh, we can select a line type particle but it's i'm for this purpose i'm just using going to use faded sphere it's fits this looks like a sparks for the depth for the birth size we have 0.1 we can change it as 0.11 and for the depth size we can change it as 0.11 so this will be okay for the opacity we can have it as 100 uh, percent you can drag these particles uh, at the top like this by holding down and uh, you can also see where this is going with the animation so you can drag this on the top just like this and uh, you can select the different colors for the particles uh, however you like them just make sure that you have a dark background uh, if you are using light particles just to make them more visible so i'm just going to go ahead and keyframe this birth rate over here at three and before this just going to go over here and we are going to keep this birth rate at zero so what this is going to do is this is actually going to produce these sparks over here we are going to select this u on our keyboard to bring down this keyframe and for this next part we can also press ctrl c on the first keyframe move ahead at around here we can press ctrl v and you will see that this is going to create the particles just like this You can zoom in a little bit and you can just in, increase or decrease the time this is up to you how part how many sparks or how many particles that you want or what type of particles this is completely up to you so i'm just going to duplicate this layer press ctrl d and after duplicating i'm just going to go ahead and drag this underneath let's just make sure both of the keyframes are same yes they are same so our animation will look something like this it's really cool isn't it so i upload a lot of uh, twitch transitions and uh, stuff related to twitch graphics and gaming graphics and animations so if you want to see more of stuff like this then you can comment below then and all you have to do is subscribe so for this next part i'm just going to go ahead and uh, select all of these keyframes press f9 on my keyboard to easy ease them this will ease out the animation so if your f9 key is broken because it's swimming in the pool so you can what you can do is you can select all of these and you can right click and select keyframe assistant then easy is this so i'm also going to do the same for these this will just go ahead and uh, this will ease out the animation so the reason that we are not seeing uh, too many sparks over here uh, is because the background is a bit mixed with the color so uh, like i said before you need to choose a background that is more dark previously uh, in the example i darkened this uh, ba background so that's why these sparks are more visible but other otherwise this animation is uh, perfect uh, if you're going for a metallic theme or something like that 
So now for this last part, all you need to do is uh, just export this animation. So first of all, you know, what you need to do is you need to click this button over here, toggle transparency grid. And you will see this uh, transparent uh, background over here. And this is important because uh, this single transition is uh, uh, transparent. So uh, you need to go over here in file and select export, add to render queue. And for in this lossless settings, I usually select quick time so you can select any settings that you want but this is the most important setting rgb plus alpha because uh, this creates an alpha channel which is the transparent channel and you can select ok then this is the selection of the destination and uh, once you select this destination then you can click save and then you just you can hit render so well, i will also upload uh, more stringer transitions and uh, twitch animations uh, based on different themes so you might need to stay tuned uh, for this and uh, subscribe to this channel as well as leave a like and comment below on what you want to see next and I will see you guys in the next video. So thanks so much for watching.